Uh, next up is Craig Lancaster from Jana. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Craig Lancaster, the CTO at Jana. Uh, at Jana, our mission is to make the internet free for the next billion. About seven years ago, our founder, Nathan Eagle, was working in East Africa. Uh, the problem he was trying to solve at the time was actually improving the delivery of blood to blood banks. Uh, the system they had in place was that there were jeeps that went around on a regular schedule and delivered whatever blood they happened to have to whichever blood bank they happened to be going to that day. The problem was the needs weren't evenly distributed. Now, Nathan realized that cell phones were becoming ubiquitous and had an insight. Why don't we ask the people at each of these blood banks scattered throughout the country to simply text the levels of blood for each blood type every day, and then we can send the right blood to the right place and save more lives. So they tried this, and for the first couple of days it worked really, really well. But then the text stopped coming in, and this really, really confused Nathan and the people he was working with. But when they dug into it, they realized that while cell phones had gotten cheaper, cheap enough that most people had them at that time, it actually was still a significant cost to send the t SMS text. Um, and it was equivalent to taking money out of the pockets of these nurses that they were asking to, to uh, update the levels every day. So he worked with some organizations there and reimbursed them for the SMSs. And uh, it picked up, right? And the, the problem was solved on a sustainable basis. And the key insight there is that even though the devices are cheap, if the data connectivity is too expensive for average people to use, uh, the devices are not nearly as useful as they could otherwise be, and people are not really as connected as they should be uh, because of the ubiquity of mobile devices. Fast forward to today. Smartphones have gotten very, very cheap. You can go to India and you can buy a working Android phone for $40. No carrier lock-in, no subsidy. And you can use it with any prepaid data plan that you like. The problem is a 500 megabyte data plan in most emerging markets costs something like 5% of the average income. So again, it's a significant fraction of, these, of, of, everybody, of the people who are going to use the phone's income. And so they're correspondingly really, really careful about what they use it for and what they don't. Now, global brands are increasingly interested in connecting with people in these emerging markets. And because smartphones are becoming ubiquitous, and that is their way to connect to the internet and to the broader world, it seems like digital advertising would be a great way to do that. And it would be, except that you're taking money out of everyone's pocket every time you show them an ad, or ask them to watch a promotional video, or ask them to try your Android app. John has solved this problem. We built a SIM accounts of over uh, four and a half billion SIM cards in nearly 100 countries. And we've done this with a combination of proprietary technology that we've built and partnerships with 311 operators around the globe. So we use this in order to provide enough free data that the consumers can interact with the brands the way the brands would like. And we also give them more data that's unrestricted that they can use to use whichever website or app that they choose. We give them uncurated, unrestricted access to the entire internet. This is different than all of the other uh, attempts to connect people in the developing world. You may have heard of Facebook's internet.org, which curates a small subset of the internet and makes that free. We launched our app, MSense, uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, we have over 30 million users. Uh, we did $29 million in revenue with that last year. Uh, we recently closed our Series C. Uh, we have 85 employees here in Boston, uh, and we plan to continue growing strongly. But we're just begun. We want to make the internet free for the next billion people. And we're working on improving MSense and building new products that will help uh, other use cases uh, and ensure that people around the world have the access to the internet that we think should be a fundamental human right. Thank you.